Tonight, BIP school board members took the first step in setting your property tax rates for the next year. At their first meeting of the 2022-2023 school year, they voted on the military. That helps fund schools for the coming year, but it also has an impact on property owners. Anthony Montalto explains how it works. If you live in Macon Bibb, here's something that could save you a few bucks. The school board just voted to roll back the millage rate. Now, if you're not a math person, don't worry, I'm not either, but I think I've got a pretty good handle, so let me explain it. The millage rate is a charge of $1 per every $1,000 on your property value. It helps determine how much you'll pay in property taxes. Sharon Roberts with the school board says it's important for schools too. This will determine the amount of property tax revenue that we will receive to um, operate our general fund budget. Wednesday, we showed you the report that showed the millage rate would remain the same. If board members went with that option, it would have raised taxes. Taking out the effect of inflation for the uh, homeowner. But Thursday morning, the school board announced it would lower the rate. We always present several different options. What was seen yesterday was just one of those versions. So we had always prepared an option to either do a rollback or to do um, keeping it, maintaining it at the same rate. So if you own a $150,000 home, you should save about $73 on your tax bill. This affords us the opportunity to support our taxpayers uh, by not imposing any further increases in taxes on them at this particular time. Now, just because the board approved it tonight does not mean it's final just yet. They actually have to do a final approval, and that'll be coming August 11th. We'll keep you updated if anything changes there. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. After the school board approves the final millage rate, the tax assessor's office will use it to determine your property taxes.